This is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled Five Really Simple Things You Can and Should Do Right Now So You Stop Chipping Away at Your Vitally Important Seed Capital Entrepreneur. Basically, how to get more out of your local consumer banking experience instead of the other way around. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to focus on five incredibly simple things you and I can and should do right now so you stop wasting your seed capital by losing it because believe it or not if you don't then your local banking experience is going to be they're getting more out of you than you're getting out of it so here's a question entrepreneur how many people do you know who've ever been bitten by an elephant on the other hand how many people do you know who've been bitten by a mosquito you know it's often said in life it's the little things that get you so this video is going to focus on five incredibly simple things you and I need to do to prevent ourselves from losing vitally important seed capital by giving away unnecessary money due to fees that we don't need to pay. So in other words, you want to systematically get more out of your local banking experience instead of the other way around. Take a look. Here's the first way if you're not careful entrepreneur they get us. Do you realize any time you withdraw money from an ATM machine that's outside your bank's uh, network, guess what? It's going to cost you an I fee. So in other words, you use an ATM machine that's not part of the bank that issued you the card. You're going to pay a fee. Here's the second thing. Ladies and gentlemen, any time your balance falls below a certain amount for any extended period of time, guess what? You're going to be charged a fee. Here's the third thing. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I rush to open some type of money market fund that's, you know, they waive that carrot of temporarily paying this rather high introductory interest rate, just like they do with the credit cards. You know, they start you out really low at 6% for the first 6 or 18 months, and then boom, before you realize it, you're paying a whole lot more in interest. Well, guess what they do with these? The moment you and I exceed a certain number of withdrawals, boom, they tack on some fees. And of course, this varies from institution to institution, but you got to look out for it. Here's the fourth way, ladies and gentlemen, they chip away at our all important seed capital. You know, sometimes entrepreneur having money in too many local different banks can lead to paying too many unnecessary fees. Now, sometimes, you know, it only makes sense that you have money in a couple of places, but you don't want to be spread out so much that they're constantly hitting you with these fees, and they're all different. And finally, this is huge. I think we're all guilty of this. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you read the paperwork that comes with any and all uh, legal institutions that you have money with because by law, they're required to disclose all of these fees that they're charging you and I. And sometimes we just get lost in the sauce and get too busy to pay attention to the paperwork. And as a result, all of this money that could be going back into your business either to educate yourself or to invest in your business whatever it's lost to unnecessary fees and that just doesn't make any sense so with that said for those of you who want to discover how you're going to add an additional 25 percent more gross profit to your bottom line do so in the next 90 days or less without having to add any new customers or clients then ladies and gentlemen grab your free nine page special report just head over to you can market online now dot com forward slash sales because that's where you can get it this is mark news of mr marketing we'll see you again next time on the marketing minute